I'm in the kitcheny bits and I'm so excited. This may look like a pepper mill, but I recognize that signature. Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark and OfferUp. It's Saturday morning and we're going to give our usual Goodwill another go. Um, let's have a look and see what the colour of the week is through the window. It looks like it is green. So all green tags, 50% off. Let's go inside. You're welcome. Let's grab a cart, pop our thrifting Vegas blanket inside, and head to the back of the store to the hard goods section. I've had quite a few comments asking me to clarify how the weight of an item influences my decision to buy it or leave it on the shelf. One of the indicators of a quality piece is that it has substantial weight for its size and is not cheaply made. That being said, also consider the value of an item. Buyers are less likely to buy a $20 piece that costs them $25 to ship, but on a $200 piece, shipping cost becomes less important. On that note, these shelves look really full so let's take a look and see what we can find. We come first to the candle section. I think I look at this every time. <laughs> Lots of votives, glass. Not really sure what these are there's a triple Wedgwood stack here this top one is Winston Churchill it's in great condition there we go the whole stack is $3.99. So I think I'm just going to take a chance on the others and pop it in the cart. Look at this gorgeous piece of Swedish glass. It's Stromberg Scheiten. It's etched probably from the 1960s but oh it's awfully chipped on the inside rim there that is such a shame I'm going to have to leave that but back here is a beautiful piece of Italian Capodimonte they look like Phalaenopsis orchids these are incredibly difficult to find without any damage and this piece just has a few teeny tiny chips which for $1.99 I can absolutely overlook. Look at this little gnome. He's sitting on a toadstool. He's got some toadstools in a basket. He's in vintage condition. He's just a really fun piece with lots of age showing. I love him. What else do they have? There's some Vegas Knights bobbleheads up here. The Knights are Las Vegas' ice hockey team. These are Jonathan Marcheseau. I've done really well with Vegas Knights bobbleheads recently. So I'm going to grab all three of these. There we go. Let's keep looking. Oh, look at this. It's a little green vase with a 
vintage wire top and back here is a Fontanini ornament. I think one of my subscribers mentioned in the comments that I should get this from the last video. So here I am getting it. Have a look back here. a little elephant vase here the quality is just not there on that the painting is quite off but this is very vintage it's a little dog a vintage bookend even though there's only one I'm still going to get it I might find the other one, but single bookends sell very, very well for me. Here's a box. Ooh, it's got an ornament in it, a glass ornament with an angel on it. Very nicely made, nice quality. For $1.99, I'll take that. This is a little party light tea light holder. It's a lovely shell, only 99 cents, but unfortunately I'm seeing a big chip on the top. So I'll leave that. And this gorgeous, gorgeous flower is still here. Sadly, really badly chipped in the center. If you're enjoying the video, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. <gasps> this is Indiana glass. I don't see these very often. It's a beautiful green appetizer dish i love this avocado green as opposed to the brighter emerald green i just can't leave that behind if nobody buys it i'm going to keep it for me these are taylor smith taylor the little chintz pattern uh, bowls it's a raspberry color chintz is really really popular at the moment several companies make it um, the English company Spode and Royal Albert and Queens. These are some little glass plates. There's three of them. They're $1.99. They have a sort of hobnail sawtooth edge. And I think they're made by KIG. Here's a Baccarat box. Baccarat is a glass company, high end, but it just has some decorative bushes inside. <laughs> Let's pop these in the cart. I'm going to look up some comps on eBay to see what they're selling for. Look at this. This is a signed piece by Stephen Schlanzer. It's a gorgeous bud vase with a maple leaf on it. The signature is at the base. Let's get that in the cart. Another vintage serving dish back there. Some baskets. Here's the clear glass. This is a little Lennox vase. Unfortunately, clear glass just doesn't sell really quickly for me. However, this is a pretty piece. I'm going to pop this in the cart and also, check on eBay to see how quickly those are selling through. 
More platters down here. This one looks like it might match the little plates I just got. Not exactly, but it's quite similar. I'm not familiar with this pattern. So I'm going to put it in the cart and uh, see if I can find this one on eBay as well. Here's the seasonal section. Lots of different holiday items. Fun little carrot basket there. We'll round the corner. Nobody in the Christmas aisle, so let's have a look. See if there's anything new. It amazes me that they're constantly putting Christmas treasures out and they have enough to continue a whole aisle dedicated to Christmas all year long. That tells us that Christmas items are very, very popular and they do sell. Please stay tuned for my haul at the end of the video. I show you everything I bought tell you what I paid and what I expect to get for it. Everything you see in the haul is available for direct purchase. So if you're interested in something you see at the price I mentioned, please drop me an email to thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. I'm just taking a minute to research these Vegas Knights Jonathan Marchesso bobbleheads on eBay. I didn't realize that they want $9.99 a piece here at Goodwill. And as I look at the sold comps, that doesn't leave me much room to make a profit. So I'm going to pop these three back on the shelf for someone else to buy. They're restocking the shelves at the moment and they just put out this Elvis Presley Wacky Wobbler Bobble Car. Another bobble head. This one, I happen to know, sells for about $35. They do want $9.99 for it, but with this one, I have room to make a profit. Let's put it in the cart. Here we are in the mugs, having a look to see if they have anything worth picking up. Here's a Star Wars guy. He's a bit worse for wear and paint peeling off will leave him. Some Christmas mugs with candy cane uh, stirrers back here. Let's see. Oh, here is a Denver Broncos uh, pint mug. This is really nice quality. It's $4.99, but I'm definitely going to pick this up.
The Broncos acquired Russell Wilson from the Seattle Seahawks recently in a trade. So it's my bet that they're going to do really well next season. Not seeing anything else in the mugs today. Let's have a look in the vases. Lots of clear as usual. Lots of florist pieces. These are some quite fun dimple glasses. Oh, look at this. This is an English Calyx Works bowl. Hopefully it is not damaged. It's $3.99. It looks to be in perfect shape, which is exciting. I'm definitely going to get that. Up on the top here is an E.R. Brody emerald green vase. You can see it's a different color to the Indiana glass avocado green one. Oh, this is a sweet little piece. It's pottery. It's not marked, but it's nicely painted. It's glazed inside and out. It's got a nice design on it. Hearts, a heart with little flowers either side. It's only 99 cents. This would go really well paired with a couple of taller pieces. So we'll take that. Let me just check the rest of the shelf to see if there's anything else. Florals over here, flower arrangements, some more Christmassy bits and orchids up top. And we are in the metal section. Lots of signs, baskets, buckets, hangers. There's a wine rack, sconces and candle holders. Some brackets, cooling racks. a little football player here. This guy is $5.99 and he's small size. Probably only retails for about $10 so we'll leave him. Here we are in the wood section. This is a very interesting piece. I'm curious to know what it is. If anybody knows, you could leave me a comment in the comment section. Here's a vintage jewelry box, little cupboards with drawers. Very nicely made. Does have some damage to it. Some trays down here. Oh, this is a bamboo expandable drawer divider. These are really nice. I think I'm going to pick this up for my new kitchen.
I'm really excited. I think I might have just spotted something that's been on my bucket list. Look down here. There's one, maybe even two pieces of what I think is American Brilliant Glass. Look at the way it reflects the light and it's so sharp. It feels like it's going to cut my fingers. They want $4.99 for this, but I'm almost positive that this is American Brilliant, so I'm going to take it. I'm not super sure about this one, but it looks very similar, so I'm going to take the chance. Let's put them in the cart. We'll fold this over to keep them safe. Let's sandwich the blanket between them. And keep looking. More clear glass over here. Oh no, drinking glasses. Lots of jars and canisters, bowls. This is a sweet little tray by Grasslands Road. It's $3.99. Unfortunately, I think these only sell for about $20. And the hassle of shipping is just not worth it. I'm going to leave that. Is a Mickey cookie jar. It looks like it's missing its lid, unfortunately. So we'll leave that. It's another little canister, quite lightweight, not ever such good quality. And it's not marked. We'll leave that too. a little false graph creamer some fun stacking mugs there here's the saucepans This is very, very cracked, unfortunately. Here is a Darceau Limoges plate. Sadly, they only sell for about $6. The travel tumblers. More pans. Lots and lots of lids. Pizza rollers. I'm in the kitcheny bits and I'm so excited. This may look like a pepper mill, but I recognize that signature. It's a vintage Kokeshi doll. Look at his coy smile. He's hand painted and signed. And he's only $1.99. <laughs> Let's pop him in the cart.
Let's have a proper look through this shelf now. What are these? These are for tacos. Oh, look at these. These are drip glaze. They're salt and pepper shakers. They're Pier 1 imports. And they're in a baggie with a couple of other salt and peppers and some wine bottle stoppers. They look to be in great condition. We'll get those. Let's see, is there anything else? in the appliances making our way towards the little frames here and the artwork this is fun this is another book page i think oh posters Oh, what are these up here? Let's see. This looks like a crochet doily in a lovely oval frame. It has a really nice vintage look to it. And there's a second one over here. Let me pop this back for a second and we'll look at this second one. It's quite similar. They would look really nice on a wall as a pair. $2.99 a piece. I'm going to grab both of those. We'll put them in the cart nice and gently. Lovely. Let's see if they have any larger pieces we can look at. Got quite a lot today. Not ever so easy to see what they have. This is a lovely piece. It's a little girl intently looking at something. It's on a backer. She's lovely. I love the way she's just staring. It looks like somebody's doing something really interesting. I'm not sure I could hit my $20 profit on her and shipping. This is a case where shipping might be a bit cost prohibitive. So we'll leave her. Let's have a flip through. This is a poster. Little Christmas piece. Have some furniture today, some tables, dining table, and uh, chairs on casters there. And here they have an absolutely gorgeous antique armoire. It's quite tiny, so I think it was made for a child. Got original hooks in there. It's a lovely old piece. It's the hardware. Painted design on there. They want ninety dollars. 
It's gorgeous. Here on my table is everything I brought home from Goodwill. Ziggy has some catnip on his blanket. <laughs> he just fell off the table, <laughs> but um, sadly I missed that. He's fine though. <laughs> First, we have what I believe to be a gorgeous piece of American brilliant glass. It is super duper reflective. It's really, really sharp. It does have a couple of tiny chips on the underside, but it's still absolutely gorgeous. I paid $4.99 for it. I'm going to ask $25. There is another very similar smaller piece. It's not the same pattern, but it's equally as sharp in a starburst pattern. Really beautiful as a trinket tray or a little serving dish. I paid $3.99 for this one and I'm going to ask $20. I love this gorgeous little single bookend. It's a little terrier. His ears and the expression on his face, absolutely priceless, but really detailed eyes. He's actually signed on the back here. It says New Art, New York. I think he's really quite old. I paid $2.99 for him and I'm going to ask $25. I found two sets of salt and pepper shakers in a baggie. They were $3.99. This set is a gorgeous tricolor drip glaze, really mid-century modern. They're from Pier 1 Imports and I'm going to ask $15. This gold uh, metallic set is a very different style but also really really fun and mid-century and I'm also going to ask $15 for that set. In this box was a lovely oversized Christmas ornament. It's purple, it's got a angel on it, it is ceramic, it's dated somewhere, 1999, it's absolutely lovely. I paid $1.99 for it, I'm going to ask $15. I'm going to sell these two as a set, just because they look so lovely side by side. They are crocheted doilies in uh, sort of a velveteen backed frame, oval frames. I paid $2.99 per piece and I'm going to ask $35 for the pair. This is an English piece. It's calyx wear, it's hand painted, really gorgeous flower pattern. The inside has a tint of light blue, but the detail is absolutely stunning. Pink and blues and yellows and greens. I paid $3.99 for it and I'm going to ask $30. Look at the color of this Indiana glass appetizer tray. 
it's the perfect size you can put the deviled eggs in this area and then crudités or olives crackers whatever you'd like in the other area it's got gorgeous branches like the tree of life almost I just love this piece I paid $5.99 for it and I'm going to ask $25 this little fellow is a Fontanini he comes with paperwork and the original box He's a villager with a little dog at his feet. He's Abraham. I paid $2.99 for him and I'm going to ask $20. Look at this little gnome. He is so vintage looking. He is sitting on a toadstool. He has a basket of toadstools next to him and he's reading a book. He's got some paint loss, but that just adds to his character. Absolutely super. He's not marked. I paid $1.99 for him. I'm going to ask $15. This gorgeous Jasper Ware trinket plates are Wedgwood made in England this one is Westminster Abbey see the mark on the back there made in England and these two are both the same they're Winston Churchill Sir Winston Churchill I paid $3.99 for the three and I'm going to ask $15 a piece. These little raspberry chintz bowls are by Taylor Smith Taylor. There's four of them. Just a gorgeous vintage pattern. Chintz is really really popular at the moment. The floral pattern on the light background. I paid $3.99 for the set. I'm going to ask $25. Look at these gorgeous Phalaenopsis orchids. They are Capa di Monte, made in Italy. The detail is just stunning. It is so difficult to find these with no damage and they have some tiny chips at the edges as you can see. I don't think it takes away from the beauty of the piece. It has its original sticker. Capa di Monte, made in Italy. I paid $1.99 for it. I'm going to ask $30. Have you ever seen an Elvis Presley wacky wobbler bobble e car? It's an Elvis bobblehead in his pink Cadillac. Brand new in the box. I paid $9.99 for it. And I'm going to ask $35. This is a gorgeous piece of pottery. It's really substantial, quite heavy. It's glazed inside and out. Beautifully decorated with a heart and flowers. It is pottery. It's not marked. I paid 99 cents for it. And I'm going to ask $20. I couldn't believe I found another one of these. In my last video, I found a tall blue one. This one's green. It has a similar flower frog for arranging flower stems. Again, not vintage, just from the early 2000s, a replica of a depression glass uh, vase. 
but it is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. I paid 99 cents for it. I'm going to ask $15. Back here is a Pint Broncos mug, the Denver Broncos. I actually got this for my husband. Russell Wilson just signed on with the Broncos. He's very excited and he is expecting them to go all the way to the Super Bowl next year. This was my prize find of the day. This is a Kokeshi doll, about nine inches tall. He's beautifully hand painted, lovely expression. He is signed on the bottom. I paid $1.99 for him in the kitcheny bits and I'm going to ask 35. Last but not least, we have this absolutely stunning vase. It's a frosted etched maple leaf by the artist Stephen Schwanzer. It's signed in etch etching down at the bottom here. Let's see if I can capture that on the dark background. There we go. Dated 1999 copyright 2000 at the end by his name. It's just beautiful, absolutely perfect condition. I paid $1.99 for it and I'm going to ask $40. Hi Zicky. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and the haul. If you would like to purchase anything you see here at the price I mentioned, please drop me an email to thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. Please stay tuned for some footage of Bear. He's 18 weeks old now and uh, having fun still at the dog park. He recently got a new Frisbee toy and just loves it. I'll see you next time. Bye. Can I have it? <laughs> Ready? <laughs> that was close, the wind took it. <laughs> Come on, dude. Come on. Good boy. Oh, he's so clever. Good boy. There. Have you got your frisbee? Can't see you on these wood chips. Here he is. That your face me? My ball.
Good boy. Good boy.